When it comes to reading a research paper the right way, the trick is in the approach you decide to take. But what exactly do you base your decision on? Hi everyone, my name is Anna Mascara and I help students and young professionals like yourself achieve their academic and career goals without sacrificing their mental health. Today we are looking at the steps you need to take in order to read a scientific article quickly and effectively. So let's begin. As previously mentioned, the key is really in taking the right approach before even starting to look at the article. Your end goal will determine this approach. In other words, begin with the end in mind so that your brain is primed for what mission it has to embark on. Now, are you reading to understand? So comprehension? Or are you reading this article to determine whether or not you can use it for your own paper? In other words, determining utility. Now, the steps you have to take are kind of similar, but we will get into the specifics shortly so that you understand the difference between the two. Step one, read the title and abstract to get an overview of the paper. Now, if you're looking to understand it, this section could be used to break down the key elements or findings that can help you then create well organized notes. I just usually jot down bullet points I get from the abstract and then fill them in as I continue reading. But if you are looking to see if this article can help back up your own research paper, the title and the abstract help you significantly speed up the process by assisting you to determine the relevance and value of the paper in less than five minutes. Side note, please remember that you need to first and foremost already know the points you want to argue or present in your paper. What I do is I keep a Word document open at all times with my main sections listed out and if I decide this article is worth looking at, I just copy paste the link in the corresponding section. Step 2. Read the conclusion as it gives you more details on the most pertinent findings. In case the abstract wasn't sufficient, doing this is relatively quick and can help you fill in the blanks without having to go through the entire research paper. Also look for comments on the generalizability of the study and its limitations. Because you know what? Even if the study agrees with your hypothesis, if it's full of flaws and other biases, it won't make much of a credible source to back up your paper. Step 3. Highlight the subtitles in the results section as they group the findings and again serve as valuable info as to whether or not you should continue reading the paper. If you are looking to understand, however, I always read the results portion before going through the methods, the figures, and the graphs, because I've always found that this switcheroo makes it a little bit more easier to comprehend. Try it out and let me know if this also helped you out. Step four, the actual reading part, which takes up, of course, most of your time. Now, instead of highlighting, which I personally consider to be more of a passive method and not that great when you're trying to comprehend more complex articles. I would encourage you to briefly summarize each paragraph or each section, keeping in mind your end goal. This might seem excessive, especially when you just want to determine utility, but for comprehension, it can be a real game changer to help you understand everything on the first pass so you don't have to read what you've highlighted over and over and over and over again. Remember, the goal here is to save time. Bonus tip, to ensure that you're taking an active approach instead of marginal notes, you can keep a working document open at all times that you can fill up as you go along. For those of you looking to build a case or quote from the articles, to support your paper, this will help keep everything in one place so you don't have 60 billion tabs open and you ping pong between all of them. Now, if you liked the article or the findings match what you are trying to prove, make sure you read the references. This section is literal gold when it comes to helping you research other papers. Remember that speed reading has everything to do with familiarity and practice. The more scientific articles in your field you go through, the quicker you become at skimming through them. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I post videos every week. Bye guys!